So, Mark, can you show me a badge? Yep, sure. I'm Mark Charmer from ACVO. Okay. What do you do at ACVO? I'm the I'm one of the co-founders, uh, mm-hmm. so I help put together the organisation early on, um, and I'm the director of communications. Okay. I hear that you have a seminar, a small workshop here. Well, yeah. We're tomorrow evening. I've been asked to present ACVO, how ACVO approaches its branding. Um, so we've we've been we we launched three years ago mm-hmm. um, here at Stockholm World Water mm-hmm. Week, and um, we we put together uh, several uh, really sort of bold posters. Mm-hmm. And one of the problems when you work in the water and sanitation sector, as it's called, is that all of the content is really boring. Mm-hmm. It's like you look around. I mean, it's just look around now. Everything is blue. Mm-hmm. And if it's not blue, it's white. Mm-hmm. And if it's about poverty, there's a sad child looking down a hole. Mm-hmm. Um, and just the whole thing, the whole whole imagery, mm-hmm. has over over many years. And I think a lot of it's to do with charities who you know base their fundraising mm-hmm. on maybe making, making people feel really bad mm-hmm. about other people's conditions. Mm-hmm. So they they, um, they 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 sort of propagate this this sort of miserable vision of mm-hmm. of, of of what other part, you know, parts of the world alike. Mm-hmm. Um, so we really wanted to challenge that. So yeah, we developed these posters. This crazy artist, um, wonderful guy, Vincent Viers in, in the Netherlands, um, who Jeroen, our chairman, had found just besides some event, and put him on to me. And um, he developed these great uh, posters. One's a Bollywood theme. Mm-hmm. It's the woman who built herself a toilet mm-hmm. with instructions from the internet. So these are not obviously the posters have come from a thinking, right? Yeah. So they're just not tactical. Well, it's funny the posters, the, and this is one of the things I'll be talking about. The posters actually have influenced our whole sense of who we are. Okay. I think, you know what? Sometimes you find extraordinary people that can take what you're trying to do and visualize it in mm-hmm. an image mm-hmm. and really that's what Vincent was able to do and, and there were so, so many themes in those posters about sort of they're very optimistic they're very much based on the idea of local heroes that can take control and you know provide uh, like build rope pumps in, in the community that they're in um, so you're saying me you're telling me that a small poster has actually brought a huge change in aqua within internally well, it wasn't really, it wasn't anything to change at that point because it was about us, how we evolved and okay. how we developed our understanding of, of what we do and who the ultimate customer is. Mm-hmm. It's very easy to get confused about who is your customer in, in international development work, especially when you build software mm-hmm. for, um, for international development work. So having those posters always brings us back to who is the actual subject. Uh, here um, and um, that's been really powerful um, because a lot of the time we're selling what we do to foundations or you know big government development agencies or NGOs who are looking to and field engineers who are looking to do status updates so it's really useful to have the, the core brand still focused on the ultimate beneficiary so who is the ultimate beneficiary in ACVO for ACVO for, for ACVO it's uh, ACVO the goal of ACVO is to make it possible to dramatically scale up the number of small water and sanitation projects that are happening in the world. It's, a, it's, it's just this, this glaring gap in the market for uh, international development aid, philanthropic aid. Um, it's really difficult to fund lots of small projects. It's too expensive, too expensive to choose them. The reporting is really cumbersome at the moment. Um, you can't do it based on things like Microsoft Office mm-hmm. because everybody spends all their time creating documents instead of digging wells um, or, or, or building latrines. So, you s- so do you think that it's easy for a large organization to change the communication approach or is it easy for a small organization like Aqua to do it? Yeah, it's, it's really hard for any large organization to change how it does communications. I mean, I've worked, before Aqua, I worked in international marketing and PR for in, in you know, big big PR agencies and large organisations really do get themselves tied up in all sorts of knots and there's lots of layers of, of lots of hierarchical layers and there's lots of underlying assumptions about what can and can't be done that, that really hold things back 
So small is beautiful? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the big is beautiful too. Um, and in many ways, I think, you know, doing how running communications in a big organization is really hard. And in many ways, those big organizations serve a purpose. Mm-hmm. But I'm not convinced that a big part of that should be uh, community. I think they could they can work with lots of smaller organisations who can lead communications in more innovative ways. If that makes sense, and they themselves have a relatively modest set of goals in asserting their brand, and they use their their might and scale to support the smaller organisations who are able to be much more adaptable and are much freer to tell a story without worrying that they're going to say the wrong thing. Thank you, Mark. Pleasure.